All right, we're at the Spring Army Surplus today. Saturday, the, what is it, the 5th of January. I'm gonna take a little tour through Spring Army Surplus today. Good morning. It's uh, full of stuff. We've got standard mess kits, camo nets, 550 cord, uh, survival water pur purification, survival rations, MREs, gun racks. That is a rubber duck gun. There's no real guns or ammo. As you can see, all the guns on the wall are movie props. Here's a breakdown of your MREs, and those who complain about MREs never had to eat key rations. There was only three meals, breakfast, dinner, and supper. We have medical supplies. Is that a little supplies. radiation tester here? Pardon? A little radiation testers? Yep. Okay. Isodose dose meters. All uh, right. Geiger counters. Good. Flight helmets. Whoop. Hang on, I'm going to get the rest of this. All right. Various helmets, medical bags that you can stock yourself or we have them stocked and ready to go. Cleaning equipment. Weapons, some weapons accessories. Not a lot, but some. Glasses, gas masks, various countries. Helmets. Uh, we even got an Iraqi soldier met he had an AK-47, he met a U.S. soldier with a crowbar who was repairing his helmet, or repairing his track on his tank. And then we have some World War II vintage stuff. I have a complete setup of what some kids call old school here. We have magazines. And, we and those are 223 uh, 30 rounders. We did not go up on our price. These are the newer ones and they're the newest ones and they're $27.95. And those are steel. Steel mags. And World War II accessories. More World War II stuff. Uh, survival kits. Stainless steel survival kits. Purification tablets. German stoves with s pits. Those are nice. Uh, keep going down here, emergency blankets. We've we got several different variations of those at different times. Depends on what I have in stock. And then we got more coming. We just moved into this location a little over a month ago. <laughs> and, well, please don't feed the zombies. <laughs> GI flashlight, standard D cell, two cell flashlight. It never fails. If it's good and it's been around a hundred years and it works, don't, don't change it. it. <laughs> uh, signal mirrors or camp mirrors you can use to save with. Uh, various, we'll go back to the center. Uh, we have knives, bayonets. Here's just a few odds and ends knives, some bumper sticker here. Uh, P38 can openers, everybody needs one Absolutely. in their pocket. On your keychain. BDU caps, baseball caps, Looney hats. You've got the multicam here. I've got some multicam, we've got more coming. There we go. Baseball caps over here for Various branches of service, Air Force, Army, Special Forces, Navy, Marine Corps, Terrorist Police, Security Police, Fire Department. If I could keep them from stealing my flags that they come with that, they'd be fine. <laughs> Kevlar helmet. This is a Hollywood Kevlar helmet, not to be confused with one of these. This one will maybe stop a pellet rifle. <laughs> Alice clips, gun oil bottles, gun oil, cleaning equipment, spray paint, OD, 100 mile hour tape. The big rolls used to patch holes, bullet holes in helicopters. Sure enough. More first aid equipment, military issued bandages. All of our gas masks are totally rebuilt. We do not just get one in and throw it back at you. Various types of Molly gear and Alice type gear. 
I'm old school. I prefer Vietnam era stuff. All right. Next. Go back here. Packs, butt packs, carry bags, dump pouches, various types of shoulder bags, holsters, ammo cans, which are getting like hen's teeth. Flight gloves, very handy when tactical situation. <coughs> you can pick up a dime with flight gloves. Pistol belts, <coughs> GP straps, suspenders, uh, waterproof boxes, medical boxes for anybody setting up medical stand. <coughs> Cold weather watch caps, gloves. Bandanas, everybody ought to have at least a bandana in their pocket or around their neck. Absolutely. Field storage boxes. Actually, these are typewriter boxes from the military from World War II up to Vietnam. But for people in the field, they make damn good storage boxes. They sure do. I've got a one that's about twice that size. It's an excellent box. U U.S. issue used boots. Both black and the tan. Now, <coughs> these are new boots, but they don't sell at a new price. That boot's about $150 when you buy it normally. I sell it for $67.95. I buy it from GIs. It's used to make, even though it's brand new in the box. Some used multicam. You I'm have any? It as <coughs> I can find it. You have any extra it's, large? No. Okay. There's no used extra large soldiers. Yeah, that's what we're finding. Uh, you're going to have to, uh, extra large, I'm sorry, you're going to have to buy new. <clears throat> GI bunks, got them from World, or cots. World War II, post Vietnam and up. This is a new medical cot. It's a lot simpler to set up and very comfortable. You can also make a lounge chair out of it. Oh, be. Nice bass. Then we have pack boards if you got a medical unit. More packs, clothing. We got more pack, PDU trousers and desert and PDU. They even have children's clothes and then for the ladies who like pink. I Absolutely. We got to find them out in the middle of the woods like that. T-shirts. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Red and pink disappears in green a lot better than blue. Hmm. When yeah, I was on blue. the Patriot, I wore a red... I was a red coat. I was a pretty captain. And I could not be seen easier than a Continental soldier who was wearing blue. Now this welding vest is used for paintball or uh, airsoft? I sell them for paintball armor because it's leather and it don't let the paintballs give you a raspberry. <laughs> then we go ACUs. ACUs are about the cheapest thing we have in clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, you said ACUs for cash you can get for 20 bucks in here. That's top and bottom. That's a good deal. When it gets cold, you got sweaters. You got the Korean War era OG wool shirts, which is still a damn good OG warm shirt. That is a nice shirt. That's 100% wool. Yep. Then we got the new PT jackets. They're fun, just to, they are a good windbreaker and they will cut the wind. Then we have the old school liners for the vest, or the correction, the uh, Gore-Tex, and first generation, or second generation, excuse me. I do have Korean War era style Parkers. They're still warm, even though they're Korean War era. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got various vintage, various vintage World War II stuff for the World War II reenactors and living historians. Uh, more packs, large, you can, you can put more in these packs than you want to carry. Grenade vest. Uh, Excuse this wall here. We're having it rebuilt Monday. It's got uh, water poured through it. Mm -hmm. And here we have the presidential suite. Ah, the presidential suite. And it's been called the presidential suite since we had the first coward in office. <laughs> so it's still the presidential suite. <laughs> I do not care for Mr. Clinton. Blankets, wool. Wool will keep you dry or warm when it's wet. Absolutely. You can't beat wool. I'm wearing wool socks today, and that moisture out there doesn't 
phase the socks at all. Long Johns, this is the best thing the Army has ever come out with. Polypropylene, and you don't really get cold in them. And it comes in a layered system. Good stuff. There's, this is the... Uh, this is the new stuff there. here. That is the first layer. Okay. It's, it's like uh, like silk, but not. And then there is a... This is the middle layer. That's that's what I've got on. And then the dark brown polypro. Mud brown is what I call it. That's what you use. When it's, that's what I'm wearing today on just that underneath it. I, I can be outside and I'm warm. You're probably hot in here. <laughs> I'm warm in here, yes. <laughs> so that goes on top of that silky stuff. Yep. But Good. it's it's a layered system. Mm-hmm. And Rain gear, Gore-Tex jackets. Oh, you got the Gore-Tex jackets. What are you getting on the top? How much is that little top? There's That's a, a good deal. Set for forty nine ninety five. That is not Gore-Tex. It's just rain. I see. Rain okay, yeah, uh, I got a Gore-Tex. Trousers in. Well, that's a good deal. Gore-Tex will normally run you like one hundred seventy bucks for a top. Nope, there's seventy nine ninety five for a there. brand new navy. I saw them advertised for one hundred seventy online. Uh, forty four ninety five for this army one that's used. That's a good deal. Uh, I buy stuff used from the GIs and it's used. If you want to pay new price, I'll charge you new price. But I try to make a short dime rather than a long quarter. Very good, sir. I think we're about out of time on this video. Well, so um, hopefully we'll get you some folks in here in your new store and get you pumped up, build your inventory. No, we, need, we need the money. <laughs> Thanks for the tour. Okay, appreciate it.